Questions for Brendan? <clears throat> Brendan's second half was, was a little bit of a struggle today. Was there anything to that? They, did they change their coverages? Anything that caused it? It looked like you were maybe you know, sailing it a little bit high in the second half. Uh, yeah, I just got under a couple of them. That throws that I know I can make. Um, like to have a couple of those plays back, but you know they started bringing some pressure. Did a good job on defense, mixing some stuff up. So uh, we just got to find a way to be better. Really aggressive play calling in that second half. Is that what you want to do? Do you want to attack, 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 or do you know that there's times that it's necessary to run the ball heavily to try to just take advantage? Um, at the end of the day, you know, obviously we were moving the ball on them through the air and on the ground. So I feel confident in whatever. Coach Sat wants to call, so if he wants to call a pass, I'm more than willing to throw it. But really, just you know, just trusting his play calling, and you know, I think he did a great job today. As a leader on this team, one thing that the entire team talked about coming into the season is protecting that win at home. When you're not able to do that against a team that's a rival, how do you help the guys get ready for Miami next week? Yeah, it's upsetting, but it's football. You know, um, losses are going to come. You got to find a way to bounce back and. Uh, we got a game against Miami, another rival, uh, next week, and we got to go to their place and take one from them. So uh, just use it as fuel and uh, bounce back from it. On third down, in the first half, you guys carved them up pretty easily, but on, in the second half, it kind of changed. What were they doing differently on that down? It seemed like it kind of made you guys struggle a little bit more. Uh, yeah, you know, like like I just said a second ago, it's just it's tough sometimes. You never know. Uh, you try to undress the defense as much as possible. I feel like they did a good job of disguising some stuff. And like I said, I'd like to have a couple throws back. But overall, you know, props to them for, for playing good defense in the second half and making some adjustments. And then, you know, we got to figure some stuff out. I got to definitely figure some stuff out. When you're up 27 to 6, how difficult is it to, to not get comfortable? Because it can be very easy to, to shift down. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you, you try your best not to, to shift into that mode and you you want to tell yourself let's go let's go put one more on them let's put the game away but uh, we weren't able to do that today and you know we got to find a way going forward to, to be able to do that what kind of player are you after games like this obviously a brutal brutal loss are you bury the tape are you stuck even harder how do you yourself kind of move on from this game um you know that's a, that's a good question because uh, I like to think that that I'm gonna study the same regardless um, just obviously coached myself, you know, a little harder this week around. Uh, obviously didn't get the result that we wanted as a team, but uh, just find a way to improve improve on what I did today and the mistakes that I made that could have changed the outcome of this game. So really just correct those and, you know, find a way to not make the same ones going forward. You weren't here last year, obviously, Brendan, but last year there was a tailspin after a loss like this against Miami mm -hmm. right on this field. What do you do to make sure – that that doesn't happen again? Um, you know, the, the group of guys that we have in the locker room, I don't think that will happen. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm just confident going forward. You know, like I said just a second ago, it's, it's football. Mistakes are going to happen. Losses are going to happen. you got to find a way to bounce back, and I think this group's going to do a good job of it. You got the ball to uh, uh, Mays and, and Johnson today, which is uh, their first reception. But uh, Royer was an emphasis. You, you mentioned that. Coach mentioned that. What did they do to keep him from getting the ball? It was three uh, catches. Just, it looked like it was a day yeah. he could go off. Yeah, um, really just try to do a good job of getting hands on him at the line of scrimmage, uh, just not letting him get going. And, and rightfully so, he's a great player, so do anything you can to contain him. He still got himself a nice touchdown, you know, helped us out today. But uh, even uh, whenever people are trying to take him away, you either got to get other guys involved or, you know, still find ways to, to get the playmakers the ball. So uh, I think we did a good job of that today. Uh, still had a decent game. Obviously, getting 50 yards in the touchdown is still pretty good. So, um, just you know, find ways to improve off of off of this film and, and go forward, uh, knowing that people are probably going to double him. Any questions for Brendan? Thank you. Thanks, Brendan. Thank you. Thank you.